Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to teach you how we can create a project where the timer block is going to be used to um, repeat a particular task again and again, all right, at a particular interval. Okay, so let's uh, get started, all right. So we're going to start a new project, we're going to call this uh, loop talk, all right. So why is it loop talk? Because we're going to sort of uh, use the same idea as the talk to me app, right, but instead of just speaking it one time, we're going to keep on repeating it in a loop using the timer. Okay, so loop talk is the name of the project. All right, so once we create the project, okay, we come to the standard uh, designer view over here. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag uh, and drop two buttons onto the screen. Okay, uh, one below the other. All right, and uh, the first button, text for button one, if you select the components, we're going to rename it to start. Okay, and the other button, we're going to rename it to stop. Alright, now for the start button, okay, uh, under the properties, we are going to make the changes that we want. Uh, so for me, I'm going to change the text. Okay, instead of text for button 1, it's going to be called start. Okay, and the width is going to be uh, fill parent. Okay, uh, again, uh, the color you can decide. All right, uh, for me, I'm going to choose black uh, background with a uh, sorry, blue background with a yellow uh, colored font. And um, the shape, I'm going to use a rounded. All right, and I'm going to use a font bold. Okay, so that is the start button. And now we're going to uh, make the changes for the stop button. All right, so with the stop button selected in the components column, go ahead and make the changes. So I'm going to call this uh, stop. Okay, uh, the width is going to be fill parent. Okay, in this case, the background color, I'm going to choose uh, maybe red. Uh, and the text will be yellow as well. Um, and uh, you see the shape is going to be rounded and I'm going to make the, the font bold. Okay, so we have uh, both the button start and stop. And uh, we're going to uh, add the text to speech converter. So under the... Uh, media uh, sorry under the uh, yeah under media there's the text to speech so click on the text to speech and drag it over to your viewer all right so as i mentioned before this is a non visible component all right uh, so it is below the screen one over here but it appears in your components column okay now uh, with that we're going to go ahead and go and do the blocks first and uh, what we're going to do is when we click on the start button, we want to call the text to speech to speak a particular message. Okay, so all of this we have gone through before. So I will just uh, quickly go through uh, the coding. And I'm just going to say something simple. Hello. All right, now uh, we have this. When the start button is clicked, you will call text to speech message hello. Okay, so let's go ahead uh, to... Uh, run this okay on our app and just see what happens okay so what you're going to do is you're going to click on connect ai companion and uh, over on your phone we're going to click on the connect a uh, scan qr code okay and once uh, we have the scan qr code you will see that it scans okay and then it will load the app onto your phone okay so you see the two buttons there so if i click on the start button now let me increase the volume on my phone. Hello. Hello. Okay, so uh, this is something that we have already done before. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to now make or uh, modify this such that when I click on the start button, instead of just speaking it one time, you will continue in a loop until the stop button is pressed. Okay, so how can I do that? All right, so to do that, uh, there are a few different techniques. The technique I'm going to show you today is using the timer loop. Okay, so go back to our uh, designer view. So in our designer view, okay, uh, I want you to click on the uh, sensors and select the clock. Okay, so there's a component here called clock. Click on it and drag it to your screen one. So as you can see, it uh, appears as a non-visible component, and uh, but it's there under the components list. All right, uh, under properties, you can see that. The two or three options there, timer always fires, timer enable, and timer interval as 1000. 
So this 1000 is milliseconds. So this 1000 uh, milliseconds uh, equates to one second. As you can see, the timer enable is uh, uh, checked by default. Okay, what we need to do is to uncheck this. Okay, so the timer is not enabled by default. Okay, we're going to use the start button to enable it and the stop button to disable it. Okay, so with that change, let's go over to the blocks view. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the clock one and select the first option that says when clock one dot timer. Right, so when what does this uh, block tell us? That means whenever the clock one has finished its sort of countdown. So if uh, look back over here, uh, we have a thousand milliseconds. That means one second countdown. So when the one second is up, then this block will get to trigger. And what I want is every one second, I want the text to speech to activate. Okay. So instead of um, depending on the click, okay, whenever the timer uh, sort of uh, expires, that means one second expires, we will call the text to speak to uh, say out a particular message hello. All right. So now what we need to do is we just need to make sure that we capture the start and stop to activate this clock timer. So under the clock, all right, we're going to select the option that says set clock one dot timer enable. Okay. And bring it to the start dot click. Okay. So this set clock one dot timer enable, we must set it to a value called true. Okay, so true and false um, in programming, we call it under uh, what we call logic values. So under the left column over here, you can see there is uh, the second option that says logic and select the first one that says true. Okay, so what we are going, what, what is happening here is when the start button is clicked, the timer one is enabled. That means we start off, uh, start the timer. And once we start the timer, every one second, okay, the, this block will activate and you will speak the message. Okay, and to stop the timer, we're going to do the same thing. So under stop button, when stop dot click, okay, so under clock one, we're going to select the option set clock one dot timer enable. Okay, and this time to a logic of false. So we're going to switch off the timer. Okay, so let's uh, see how it's happening on our code. So when I click on the start button, so you can see that the hello is continuously repeating. When I click on the stop button, the uh, sort of uh, timer is disabled. Okay, so you no longer hear the repeated hello. Okay, so let's do it one more time. And now I stopped it. All right. So as you can see, it's quite easy to use the timer block to set a interval. Okay. Uh, to periodically do certain activities. Okay. So whenever you want to change the timer, of course, you can come to timer interval here. Uh, if you want to manually change the timer in the user interface, okay, under clock one, there is a option here that says set clock one dot timer interval two. Alright, so you can use like a text box or something to capture the value and then update it inside your start button dot click event. Alright, so those are things that you can try to extend this app further. Alright, so thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.